Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alpha Miller Stadium for this 130th anniversary game, Stanley versus Milford. Joined by the uh, effervescent Paul Smith, Michael Banks on lead commentary and uh, guest commentator analysis, Daniel Beddle. Nice to see you, Daniel. Paul? It's good to see Dan Beddle here, one of the founder members of the uh, club when it started 130 years ago. <laughs> can say that because he's older than me. Only just. Uh, first of all, for those um, people who are abroad watching us, Carsten over in Italy watching. Yeah, he's in Italy, on, uh, sunning himself. And then there's Ethan over in Greece. Speedy recovery. Speedy recovery, kid. We're here for the... Rob O's and Aldi, but he, he's picked up signal anyway with his ears, so it's all right. Oh, Darren Robson, Darren I thought you meant Paul. Robbo, you'll be watching anyway, you'll just put it on, vol on mute because you fucking can't stand us. <laughs> so, 130 year anniversary this, this year for the Stanley River Club and no better way to celebrate it than to play the local rivals, Fish. No longer Marlins, just... Uh, no longer Marlins, just Fish. Just uh, Milford ARLFC. Back at roots and that. It's good to see uh, Matthew here, enjoying fatherhood. Yeah, easy, it? Congratulations on the birth of little Amelia. Good to see. No, no, no. There's no, there's no, there's no pun. I told you, I'll get the jokes out away early doors when we're in club, and now it's just professionalism all the way through. <laughs> Michael, are you going to tell them the teams? I will. I will tell you the teams. Coming right up, classic fixture as we've already mentioned: Milford versus Stanley. Friendly rivals, would you say, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Good few. <laughs> no, nah. it is a friendly rivalry between Milford and Stanley, but we like to knock Pony out of each other once in a while. Right, the teams will line up. Home team first, Stanley. Number one, Jack Smith. Number two, Liam Copland. Three, Aidan Scully. Four, Jack Vincent. Five, Ben Selby. Six, Eddie Crossland. Seven, Josh Jones. In the absence of our uh, regular halfback, Niall Murphy, who's injured. Uh, wearing the number 10 shirt is Tom Kent. Hooking is Adam Ben, show and go specialist. Just come back from, uh, Just come back trip, from around trip around the world, judging by his uh, Instagram. He's put about 3 million posts on of every holiday he's ever been on. Holly, does he dive on the free kids' places? <laughs> Boring <laughs> little turd. Anyway, wearing 20 is the big Geordie, Steve Walton. <clears throat> Excuse me. 11, De uh, Dion Henry. 12, Tyler Hart. 13, Everybody's hero, Jack Sykes. And on the bench for Stanley Lit is 14, Luke Townsend. Townend, rather. Like him. 15, Ash Yaddo, the big man. 16, Jermaine Ruin. And 17, our Kiwi import, Riley Captain. Coaches, Ashton Golden, Jordan Lily. Water boy is Chris Holder. Trying to get one more year out of him. As uh, you might see on the camera now, just coming into shot, is uh, Glenn Metcalf, former NCL Eagle. He's been dropped this week because he's doggers. <laughs> Generally, we need players with a spine. He is uh, absent of one. So, the Milford team line up at one, Jacob Skinner, two, Matt Broxham, three, jo Josh Nathaniel, four, Steve Bacon, five, Ross Hamill, six, Zach Snellgrove, seven, Jake Payne, eight, Kieran Webster, nine, Scott Jensen, ten, John Elkington, 11, Dave Warren, wearing 19 is Dave Watmore, 13, James Barker, 12 on the bench is Dwayne McClee, 18, Tom Wilson, former Stanley player, 16, Joe Ramsden, 17, Martin Loveridge. Head coach, Jamie Bent, assisted by Liam Marshall, Mick Loveday is the water carrier, Paul Ramsden is the physio. So, shaping up to be a good uh, good fixture this today. Nice weather, a bit windy, I must admit, coming from left to right on your screens. Always a good fixture against Milford. Milford are up there in fourth, a few points behind uh, Stanley in six, sixth, are we, at the moment? Fifth or sixth after the cracking win last week against Skirla. Um And uh, also, Milford had a good win last week against Mighton Warriors away. Good win, that's all. Good win. over in uh, the land of the cod. Good, good warm up, that Mick. Yeah, not a, those, was it a good little warm up, warm up, intense warm up on the field by Stanley. As you might see on the screen, is the uh, little graphic that's actually on the field, not on our uh, 
magnificent graphics. Yeah, as Paul's just shown me, Milford, oh, my fat fingers. Milford in fourth on 21 points. Stanley two points behind on 16. It's pretty spread out, isn't it? Two points behind 21. Milford, 21 points to Stanley and two points behind on 16. No, two positions, I meant. Two positions below them in the league table. Are you counting your toes? <laughs> yeah, I can only get to five though, mate. Not kicked off, Stanley. It's six nil off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, important game, isn't it? It's a very important fixture. Not just for the, uh, not uh, not just for the pomp and circumstance of uh, of the day. It's also an important fixture in the league table. Also to avenge uh, the away fixture, as Paul rightly says, Stanley were absolutely dog shit at Milford, and got an hiding. So. Hopefully they can uh, pick themselves up and, uh, and and perform a little bit better. We have got a little halftime show from the Leeds Ra from the Rhinestones cheerleading well, squad. They had a little blast on before game earlier on. Quarter past, but we missed that. So we'll see how we go, yeah. ladies and gents. We're going to go a little bit of radio silence in a moment, waiting for the kickoff. So please stick with us and. Uh, Join us at half past for the kickoff. Five minutes time. Thank you. Ladies and gents, we're back. Thanks for joining us. Not really sure what numbers will be like after a few uh, few weeks missing. They joined us for a fantastic derby. Stanley versus Milford. Big game. Top half of the table clash. Stanley desperately need to win to keep in touch with those playoffs. Milford, payoff uh, push of their own. Desperate to try and secure another two points to uh, build their momentum as they head towards the playoffs. Capacity crowd at the half a miller. 
They're in early early ticket sales, um, reached 17,500. There's been a load of pay on the door, so we're up to 22,600 at the minute, Mick. Room for a couple of hundred more, but capacity crowd, always a good fixture, Mick. What are your thoughts for today? Yeah, I think it'd be a cracking game if uh, if both teams seem up for it. Stanley definitely are. Milford are always up for a Stanley game. So uh, I think it'll be a good good game. I think it'll be a bit of an arm wrestle early doors. See who's a uh, bit of a testing out. Bit of a game of chess, maybe. Seeing, uh, seeing who's, who's going to come up with the first mistake. I was hoping it's a better showing than last time. Yeah, I think it'll be a better game than what it was down there. Milford uh, bossed it, didn't they, down there, let's be yeah, honest. They were good, they were really good together. It's good Very to watch. good. Yeah, so... Uh, Let's so hope Stanley have improved somewhat since then. We'll go with predictions. P predictions? Whoa, predictions. I'm reckon. Scoreline, I don't know. I'm reckon Stanley by six. Hart, Stanley ahead. Milford by four, I think, I'm afraid. Stanley 32, Milford 16. Well, call Daniel, guest analysis. Score prediction. I'm going for 22 14 to Stanley. Oh, so three to one. Let's have a look, see how we go. Stanley do look fired up. Nice, uh, intense warm up from uh, coaches Goulding and Lily. Let's um, let's uh, join our commentary team of Michael Banks and Michael Banks. <laughs> You're doing that. You do that then. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, don't block my view, Bells. I know, we not any beers, have we? Me, me, uh, Throat's getting dry already. Stanley to kick off. Right to left on your screens. Referee's just checking his watch, making everything's all right. High kick off from Jack Smith. Right into the corner. Hanging low. Has it gone into touch? Yes, it has. Great little win there for Stanley early doors as Matt Broxholm failed to field it. Bit of an awkward bounce. He went for it, bounced away from him, so it was a bit of a struggle for him. It was just a, one of them. You've got to take them on chin, haven't you, I suppose. A bit of a, uh, a confidence boost psychologically for Stanley. Early doors. What you say? What you say then, Chip? Points on the board. Not quite, but it'd be good to get some out of this set. To get the ball back straight from the kickoff is uh, fortunate for Stanley. Jack Smith taking the ball up from his uh, lovely kickoff, Adam Bennett acting half, 10 metres out from the Milford line in this early doors. Welton, strong man, going into the Milford defence, scrambling already early on. Good Go tackle on from Kieran ben. Webster. Not my call. Nice dart under the sticks there Benji. from Adam Ben, trying his luck. Ball out loose, Josh Jones. Finds Aidan Scully out on the left-hand side. He's wrapped up by Josh Nathaniel. Oh, no. Adam Ben, acting half. Wild pass out to Josh Jones, turns it inside to Jack Sykes. He drug shrugs off the eye shot, edging his way through into the uh, five metre zone as the fifth and last tackler comes up. Adam Ben finds Jones, puts a lofted kick to the corner, looking for the winger on the far side, which is Ben Selby. Catches the ball and gets it down, does he? Referee stood on the back line and awards a try. Great try from Stanley. Fortunate. Great try from Stanley early on. Taking advantage of the good kickoff. Great set. Lovely little kick into the corner from Josh Jones. And Ben Selby leaps like a salmon and dots the ball down before he's bundled into touch over the flag.
Unsuccessful conversion there from Liam Copland, right on this far side. It is deceptively windy as it looks. I'm not sure if it looks that way on the screen. The trees are blowing. Wait a minute, it is now. <laughs> there you go. There's a bit of wind for you, ladies and gents. Milford to kick off. Number seven there, Jack Payne. Lofted high on this right hand side. Looking for Dion Henry. He catches the ball, turns, runs into the defence. He makes it to the 20. Josh Nathaniel in there for the defence. Dax Nelgrove in there also. As well as a big man, Dave Warren. Welton taking four defenders with him. And the referee's blown the whistle. Is it a penalty or is he knocked on? Penalty to Stanley. Not sure what he's, uh, he's giving there. Oh, he's ripped the ball out. Wait for it. Adam Bent. Scully taking the ball in. Aidan Scully, the number three for Stanley. Legs driving, four defenders from Milford to take him down, sucking the defenders in. Slow play the ball up. Could have been a bit quicker. Josh Jones finds Sykes out the back. Finds Crossland. He pushes a wide ball out. Finds Jack Vincent over on the far side. He comes back in field. All the kids blowing the whistles in the background are proper winding me up. Welton charging up the middle of the park. Looking for the offload, finds it, finds Adam Ben, hands on to Tom Kent after it bobbles on the ground, finds, in the end, finds Crossland. He gets a offload out, finds Jack Vincent dancing around the Milford defenders, brings him just short of the 20 metre line. There's an injury to one of the Milford lads. Time off, says the referee. Not sure if it's a knock, knock to head. They do seem confident with the ball, Paul. Yes, you're right. I'd like to say a big thank you to uh, one of our club sponsors today, Hospitality, Gibbs and Dandy. One of the uh, chief window, window dressers, Paul Smith. For all your building needs. For all your building needs, Gibbs and Dandy. You're very handy. Just opened uh, an improved showroom at Pudsey, I hear, Paul. Yep, landscaping department. Landscaping department. Short ball finds Jack Sykes on a great line from Crossland. He gets brought down by a, from a good tackle from the big man, Elkington. Welton gets an offload, finds Tom Kent, finds Crossland. He's looking at space for the winger. Is it the winger? Ben Selby again. Dives over in the corner after some great hands from the Stanley forwards. Primarily Steve Welton and Tom Kent. Finds Crossland, he's got great vision. Sticks the ball out wide, finds the winger Ben Selby in acres of space to dive over and bag another meat pie for the stand. 8-0. Apologies for the industrial language from former player Dan Beryl, club founder, back in the days of the wagon and horses. This camera's all over the place. Hold that, Paul. What does that be? Eddie Crossland's having a great game. Former rugby union player, Eddie Crossland. Looking, well, looking look, look sharp, actually. Yeah. Uh, look sharp. Look. A lot, lot of intent. Tom Bell on the tannoy there, seemingly uh, taking great pleasure in uh, saying St Milford nil. It'll come back to bite us one day. It always does. Keeping up with Twitter. There's some issues. <laughs> right, I'm doing all that. Out on the full by a long way. Told you, ladies and gents, the wind here is very deceptive. As soon as you get probably halfway up the post, halfway up the floodlight stanchions, 
the wind is whipping down across from left to right on your screens down towards the Rodley Valley yeah, in the picturesque setting of Stanley. I'm not sure, it's, it's seven minutes roughly. To be defending for seven minutes is a tough ask for any team. There we go, kiss of death. Elkington, good tackle from Elkington as Dion Henry spills the ball. And it's a knock on, head and feed to Milford. Let's see what Milford come up with now. Let's hope they can uh, string a couple of uh, good sets together. Take some of the pressure off. It is Milford's first possession of the ball indeed. Can't see that. Paul, you're right to do that, mate. Good yardage from Milford. Getting some good yards over the uh, the 40 metre line, just approaching the halfway with James Barker. He brought down by Adam Ben Elkington. Makes it over the halfway line. I think that's the fourth tackle. Good player, Elkington. He's a very good player. He's played for. Uh, Fifth and last tackle, St Milford on Stanley's 40 metre line. Jack Snellgrove puts a high kick swirling round in the wind. It's a tester for Jack Smith. Takes it comfortably, finds Jack Liam Copland out wide. Ooh, high shot there from uh, Matt Broxham. Referee says it was all right, round the shoulders, that'll do. Get up, carry on. Exactly, Aidan Scully taking one in, taking some load off the forwards. Who slow to get back. <laughs> And Ben acting out, finds Tom Kent on his own. He's fronted up by Dave Warren, brought immediately to a halt. Also, Kieran Webster in attendance. Sykes is bust through from acting half. He gets the attention to Zach Snellgrove, holds him up, but manages to get the ball away with a wild offload as Skull is brought down on the halfway line, tries to get back up. But Jake Payne, his attentions bring him down and force a knock on. Correct. Scrum down, hidden feed for Milford. Jack Sykes will be finding his efforts uh, unrewarded there. Nice little break up the middle of the field. Trying to force the play a little bit. Trying to force the issue, Stanley. Come up with an error. And it's scrum down to Milford in good ball. Right on the halfway line. Many, many tries are scored from this position of the field, Paul. Many, many tries are scored from most positions on the field. Correct. Yeah, most try, yeah. It's like being a shark, isn't it? You only get attacked by a shark if you're wet. Good tackle. You only drown if you're wet as well. Yeah, I think so. Elkington gets a low ball, stuttering onto it. Needs better service than that, does the big man. Well, loose ball, loose turnover, Stanley. Quick on to the offload, loose offload. Jack Smith comes up with it in the end. Possession is key. It is today, mate. Possession is key today. Oh, just as we say it, ball pops out from Welton. Zero tackle. Welton gets up off the floor, wraps Josh Nathaniel up, who's running across the pitch. We need to soak up this pressure from Milford, certainly do. As if they score, they will get the tails up, as the uh, as you will imagine. Dave Watmore taking the ball up, gets brought down by Tom Kent and Jack Vincent in attendance. Also, Elkington passes out the back, finds Skinner. He in turn finds a number 15. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I've got a 15 apparently on the team sheet. Warren. Taking the ball in. Eight, nine. Corey Mullet. Corey Mullet. <laughs> oh, interception! Can he make it all the way? Crossland intercepts the ball. In He's looking inside. <laughs> He's running. Intercepts the ball in quicksand. <laughs> yeah, I'll give him that. It looked like you were running in custard. But uh, he did the right thing, not trying to force the issue. We'll play the set out. Taking some of the pressure off 
Josh Jones finds Copland. He runs into a bit of a cul-de-sac. Finds Dion Henry. Just take the ball in, Dion. That's it. Run forward and hard like you used to. Or like you're good at, should I say, rather than like you used to. You still do it, don't you? Adam Ben, short ball, finds Jack Sykes. He's poking his nose through the line. Stretches out and bangs the ball down, which bounces up. Oh, Referee's going to give it. Yes, he has. Oh, we'll take that all day long. Not 100% sure. The hero, Jack Sykes. Oh, we'll take that. Great try, great solo effort from Jack Sykes, great work up the field earlier on from the interception from Eddie Crossland. Didn't panic, didn't turn round, had no support, so he thought, right, I'm right, I ain't got the legs, I ain't got the legs. Dives with it, gets a nice little couple of quick play of the balls. Jack Sykes on a great line, finds his strength, has a presence of mind to reach out, dot the ball on the line. It was a heavy put down, questionable, what it a bounce, who knows, it's been given. Let's take whistle and all that. I'm sure we'll be saying other way around if it were a month for try like, but gotta do these things, aren't you? Let's see what Copeland can do this time. Bit of an easier angle for him. The wind is still howling round over there. As you can see with the Texas well, score to 14-0. Sponsored by Cross Street Fisheries, Liam Copeland there, incidentally, sponsored by Croft Street Fisheries at Farsley. Cracking fish shop. Award winner, sir. Award winner. Good choice. We're uh, missing a commentary man, Matt, Matt Russell. Gone to the bar. Get refreshments for the chaps. High kick off, allowed to bounce, finds Tom Kent eventually. Dave Watmore heads up the chase. Elkington in attendance also, as well as James Barker. Good little step from Jack Smith. He bounces off one, gets finally brought down and driven backwards by the number three, Josh Nathaniel. After his earlier error, he's been involved in quite a lot. He's making up for it, I think. Man down. Man down, Jack Smith stays on the ground. He's probably took a knock. Steve Welton runs in, gets a eye shot from Kieran Webster. Well, you never know if it's an eye shot these days, do you? Because one minute I'll referee's blowing every two minutes, and next minute they're letting stuff go. Nice little kick there into space. Keeps it in field. Picks it up, does Aidan Scully. Passes it over his head, finds Liam Copland. Fantastic opportunist try from Stanley there. The number 15 for Milford, who we don't know who it is, because he's not on my team sheet. Keeps the ball in field, looking for his other mates. He was on his own. The ball rolls into the willing hands of Aidan Scully. Finally gets caught by a Milford player, dumps it over his head, basketball style, straight into the hands of Liam Copland. Dances around the dead ball line and puts it down. Cracking try for Stanley. Lee. Lucky, I'll give you that. Very lucky. But you make your own luck, don't you, as, uh, as our former coach Jamie Jones used to say. You've got to be in that area to make your own luck. Great push from Stan. Unfortunate from a Milford point of view. I don't know why this camera looks all wonky today. Eighteen nil at the moment as it stands with a kick to come. Be twenty. If he nudges this, which he does comfortably. Well, Paul, I must admit, if you'd have said to me before the game after 20 minutes we'd be 20 nil up, 
and I told you where to get off. There's been a couple of uh, very uh, lucky opportunities that Stanley have pounced on and it has gone the wrong way for Milford. I don't think it's been a... They've looked quite dangerous with the ball of Milford and when they have it and then Stanley come up and... Uh, classic... Uh, might well be a penalty. Were he, did he touch it? Were he offside? No, knock on. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's it. Don't get paid to note rules, do we, mate? Snellgrove, inside ball, finds Steve Bacon. He's wrapped up. Nathaniel, he's edging round. He gets picked up by Dion Henry, driven into the ground, a couple of yards short. Loose ball. Referees pull the knock on. Not sure. Not sure why he, I'm not sure why he didn't play on there. Ball's come loose and it's given it head and feet to Stanley, even though Stanley player ended up with it. I believe it took a second touch. How did he? I don't know. No. Well. Who knows? Who knows? Great stint from Swally there, just coming Cracking up. Cracking little uh, first 20 from, from the big man, Steve Walton. The number four, number 17, Riley Captain, he's uh, takes the field with a headband on. Only knows one direction that kid, yeah, doesn't he? He, he will run straight and hard. It's typical Kiwi. <laughs> typical Kiwi. I like the fact that Ben Stokes has been nominated for New Zealand Sports Personality. <laughs> <laughs> penalty, as well. penalty as well. Not sure what that's for. Offside. Wilford's... <laughs> Angry yeah, they're not doing themselves any favours currently. I think 50 50 calls have gone our way so far as well. Yeah, they have, definitely. Won't complain. Nice blast of wind coming through the door there. Is that yours, Penalty. 20 0. 20 0. Where have you been, man? You've only been 40 <laughs> metres away. It was uh, Alam Globe trotter stuff earlier try as uh, that Tom Kent getting ragged about. Only completed one set so far, I believe. Dwayne McCree, good tackling, some good defence coming yeah. from him though, I must admit. Number 12, Dwayne McCree, that's a couple of shots he's put in. Jake Payne also in there, putting some good tackles in. Tom Wilson on the pitch now. Former Stanley player a few years back. I believe he went down to Milford to play with his brother, didn't he? Good player, liked him. Strong, very strong lad. He can motor as well for a big lad when he gets going. Bit of afters from Dwayne McCree there. Come on, Coppy! Coppy again, takes a kick. Got sit down again from another mistake from the Milford players. I actually missed what went on there. What happened? What happened? Uh, great kick up by Jonesy. A uh, bit of pressure by Milford, but uh, he just seemed to just beat him in the air. The lad didn't want to jump. Copland jumped higher than he. Simple try. Great comments from the super coach, Dan Beryl. Right, he comes in. With a load of children's whistles in his mouth. <laughs> Confiscated. Charlie. Great option that, Matt. What score are we on? Fucking you will not believe this. 24 0. How long we beat them, How long we 4 20 minutes. I was saying to Paul earlier, if you'd have said we were 20 0 up after 20 minutes, you'd take that all day, wouldn't you? Oh, bang right, Michael, bang right. Don't, <laughs> don't go to the bar. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Is the uh, the one way queue system not working? It's working, it looks efficient. But it looks efficient. It just takes further. We're only taking one at the bar, but at the queue we've got to stand yeah. there and come to the bar and one. Alright. Oh, Somebody's well. going out of the room now. <laughs> Glad they're eating it. Clever. Very, it looks very German design. Eins, zwei, drei. If we'd have fought on, we'd have put a crate in here, wouldn't we? Too early. If we'd have been, been <laughs> right about it, we'd have had a little beer fridge in this little dugout. Scaleless, Gordy. 
should have a delivery service. Yeah, let's go. Tell you, we've had a boom, get out. Get over your coffee. Get over coffee. It's a low sweeping kick. Scripts over the bar. Twenty-six nil in Stanley's favour. I don't think anyone on the sideline or around the ground was expecting a scoreline such as this. I certainly wasn't, and I know the Milford lads certainly weren't. Looked very sharp in the warm-up. There's loads of nines, but no sixes. It won't be that score for long. High swirling kickoff again. Luke Townend on the field, injecting a little bit of pace. Riley Captain taking the ball in strong, just shy of the 20 metre line for the first tackle. Adam Ben acting half. Slow play the ball, finds Dion Henry. No, he doesn't, he finds Jermaine Ruin. Same fade, aren't they? Jermaine took a knock there by the looks of it. Jack Sykes. Running up, fronting up John Elkington. <laughs> Bit of a size difference in the two. It's not the size of the dog. There's plenty of wet ball, is mate. You can't go wrong, really. Adam Ben, show and go. Does it play off? No, it doesn't. Paul's up. When will he learn? Oh, Crossland. High kick. Looking for space, doesn't find it. Straight down the neck of Jacob Skinner. Good chase from Stanley. Josh Jones in attendance. Like our defence, Josh Jones for his size. Gets stuck in. Adam Ben also in there. Similar size. Both midgets. Paul. Quick shout out to Danny Rimwick watching over in Oz and uh, Carsten, who's feet up, beer in hand, watching over in Italy. Good to see you uh, watching us, lads. Big up to you. Tarts. Tarts. Danny Rimwick watching. Are you. Pass your bedtime now. There's a grub, eh? You grub. I hope, you, I hope your black eye gets better. And coogie sharks drop you, or whatever the dolphins, or whatever they are. Coogie, anyway. Drop him his shit. High swirling kick. It's a nice one, is that? Tester for Luke Town and takes it comfortably in the headgear. Yeah, I think, I think Jack, Jack Smith. Gone injured and uh, Luke's stepped in. Usually a hooker is your young Luke. Very effective around the rook ears as well. Jonesy, half-hearted run. Copland gets a crack. Number seven, <laughs> Jake, Jake Payne. <laughs> that was a cheap one, that one. It. Cheap one, that. Hey, he's his laces, he's out. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, unnecessary little, unnecessary little dig from Jake Payne. Achieve nothing. Good for Hedo status, isn't it? But no football. I feel a dig. Ooh. Oh. 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 Some choice language from the female contingents in the club. It's usually women anyway, isn't it? That, uh, they come up on it and they get They come up with some insightful <laughs> stuff, yeah, don't they? they tackle do. him. Tackle him, that's, that's always it. a good one. It. Pass it, run. Run it, run it. Run it, run it. Run it. That's always a good one. Because everyone forgets that, don't they? Do you know, I forgot to tackle him unless you mentioned that, Mum. Cheers. <laughs> get them on side. That's my son. Get off his head. Get off his head. That's textbook. Get off his head. Right. Tell you what, there's a right crowd here. No, there is a very good crowd. Double simbin in. Adam Ben. Adam Ben's going off for some reason. <laughs> what are you even involved? Oh, my card was bigger than it. Yeah, he was trying to pull up right at the beginning. So retaliation, he's off 10 minutes. So, yeah, bit of knuckle. Seven, Referee seven, stamped his authority. Seven, yeah. Stamped his authority. 10 minutes apiece in the bin. Cooled down. Luckily, our hooker's gone off, but we've got a very willing and capable hooker. At full back currently. Town and in the hooker. Wingers, uh, wingers drop back as and when they did. It's like goalie when Ned, isn't it? Copland having a dig on his own. He's brought down by the number 13, James Barker. Josh Nathaniel in there as well. Jermaine 
Recovered from his knock earlier, taking the ball in strong. Nice to see Sandy from Google Box double up on a TV work. Yeah. Go on, Sykesy lad! Yeah, big man! Sykesy taking a strong carry. A long, long play of the ball. Short ball from Jermaine Ruin. Finds Riley Captain charging, charging for the line. Does he get over? No, great defence from Milford. Three or four players in there, driving him back. He was coming on a great line. Great little ball from Jermaine as well. Sykes, he tried to butter his way under, under nines, styly. Get the ball out, lads. Into a bit of space on the right. Last tackle, puts a little kick through. Good pressure from Townend, forces a drop out. Nice little nudge into the in goal area. Drop out. Oh, it's gone a long way, that. Nice kick, finds Copland in the end. Copy running it back, eating the metres up. He finds the shoulder of Matt Broxham. Gets brought down. Townend acting half. Finds Dion Henry for a, for a run. Finds a little space, brought down on the 40. Aidan Scully coming in for a bit of work. Takes some work off the forwards. Nice in a bit, in a bit of space is Scully. Works well in the centres. Townend acting half. Finds Crossland. Finds Jack Vinson on the inside. He's stepping and dancing his way through the Milford line. Brings up the 20 metre line. Townend finds Jones. Finds Jack Sykes. Looks for a little offload. Decides to hang on to it. Probably the best option. Fifth and last tackle. Henry in at acting half. Not sure he realises it's a fifth and last tackle. People around him should have been screaming. Fancied his chances on this left hand side. Gets brought down. Turnover. Jack Vincent down on his haunches. I think he's lost the contact lens, maybe. He's having a rest. He's run his blood to water, that lad. Cracking, the, cracking little stint from Sykes. Look, can you put warm up a few of them like that? Yeah, Half an hour gone with plus uh, plus stoppages for the little scrap and a couple of injuries. You will notice that our clock does not um, stop when uh, the referee stops it because we can't be bothered. So we just technology. Well, well technology, it yeah. does it if we want it to do it. It just means someone clicking it all the time. The quote's gone in. Can't be bothered, man. Quote's gone in. We've apparently. Forward a quote onto Louise Arbel, she'll sort it. I'd rather talk to organ grinder, wouldn't you? Not the monkey. Is Not the monkey. Tom Bell's will no pulse strings round here. Strings. Shout out to Tommy as well, actually. He's been grafting his ass off on all of these uh, little things that are going on around the club. Stalls up. British Legion are here, not, raising just, money, Will's way. It's not just the uh, club he gets involved with those in the back. No, 5, gets people. involved with the Bramley Breezers Running Club. Atkins Testimonial is involved. Atkins Testimonial, I think he's a, Ryan Atkins is some kind of chairman of that. He's uh, spreading himself thin. Great little break there from the number 13, James Barker. Bringing up the 40 metre line. It was a slow play of the ball and Milford rightly so carrying on. Is that 15 again? I don't know who he is. He's done all right though since he's been on. Oh no, in 16. Joe Ramsden, good running kid. Fifth and last here for Milford. Go down the short side. Ball's gone loose, ball's gone loose. Into open space. Finally put the kick in, chasing. Good chase. We'll take that as Coppice weeps up round the back. Smacking face for his troubles as well. Yeah, it's a little dig. We'll all take one of them though, I suppose. Skull it. Second tackle. Not that good at filming. 11 metres out. Jones finds Ruin on a short ball. He's wrapped up by the big number 12, Dwayne McCray. And also Ramsden in attendance. Ash Yarrow enters the field, the big... Uh, Mong. <laughs> <meathead>. <laughs> I wasn't going to say Mong, I like the kid. 
Oh, Luke Townend, we said he was dangerous around the rook. And there he shows it. Nice little ball. <laughs> Finds Tyler Hart. Head back and go. Has he got the legs? No, he hasn't. Don't force it, kiddo. Great run. Great run from Tyler Hart. Nice quick play of the ball. Finds Jack Vincent. Easy little stroll over the line. Dots a dot. Dots a ball down. Cracking little break from Luke Townsend. Townend. Taking the score to Stanley 30, Milford nil with a kick to come. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, one of our club, well, he sponsors both teams today, actually. The uh, the illustrious Mark Adams of Rodley Flooring, Rodley Carpets, sponsors both teams, has sponsored Stanley for years and years, sponsored Milford for the last few years. Always sorts the local community out with great deals on carpets, so if you want to, uh, if you're in the area and you're in the market for a carpet or lino or wood flooring or vinyl yeah. tile, you name grass. it. Artificial grass. Artificial grass. Yeah. I've got doing some. Doing a charity uh, walk in uh, October. Yeah, doing a charity walk for dementia, for dementia in a uh, hundred mile for dementia. Well, they, I think the lads are going to join up for him. So uh, he's watching the game with his dear mum. So hello, Mrs. Adams, and hello, Mark. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you over there in shop as well. I'm going to come and buy some lino off you. Obviously, a good good price. <laughs> Cracking little uh, try there for Stanley. 32 0. Takes a score to Stanley 32, Milford 0. I'll take this, mate. Take that scoreline all day long. Nice wide ball, finds Ashley Yarrow on the charge, big strong unit. Missed the, uh, missed the away fixture for the Milford game as he was in Thailand. I just got back that day and I don't think he'd have been in any state to play. That's what we got yeah, he did a few weeks over in Thailand and Philippines and all that, travelling. Good lad. Not deserve it. Town end, finds Crossland, inside ball, finds Captain. He's brought down just over the 40 metre line, coming out of the Stanley territory. Fifth and last, Josh Jones looks for a little bit of space, finds it. Can Scully put a bit of pressure on? He does. Matt Broxham does a good job of fielding the ball. Scully brings him down. First tackle. Good deep. I think defence has been good for both sides, to be honest. Obviously, we're part a few one-on-one -on -one misses on the Milford contingent. Well, really been, impressive down apart there, from the little scrap yeah. earlier, I think it's been a good game. Milford were great defending down there. I just don't think, I think we've shocked them in the first 20 minutes, how yeah. they've come out. Their defence, yeah, I must admit, the defence down at when we played at Archer Garden on the 3G, they absolutely just it tackled just, us off the pitch. That, that kick off Tackle that start, goes into touch, we get a good start, it shows it, doesn't it? We play at the back of that then. Yeah. Fifth and last, don't you kick that beard over, Don. Oh, wild ball. Into the hands of the big number 19, Dave Watmore. It turns out all right. Copeland takes it quite easily. On the run, gets brought down by Broxham and Nathaniel. Yeah. Riley Captain's music. Lost his head tape. Banging. Banging. Cheers, mate. Yarrow. Oh, a little goose step from Yarrow. Not sure it did help. <laughs> Got an extra couple of centimetres out of it. Good lad. Got to try it when you're a big lad. Like that's what props have to do, mate. You wouldn't know that sending all your career up wing. So don't biscuit tin for eight minutes. Yeah, just in the middle. Adam Ben acting half, captain. He looking, looking round for someone. No one in, a, no one in attendance. Can't get him down now. 
well in front, calm it down. That's it, that'll do. I'll check that over there. Nice little running the, running the clock down. Yeah, there's still 40 minutes to go, though, isn't there? You know what I mean? We haven't seen on the half an hour since Stuart McGill. It is, yeah. Not, yeah. Giving an intercept away. He can throw an interception, can Young McGill. Who's incidentally. Hello to you watching in North Wales. I hope the weather's nice because it's windy over here. I went in North Wales not long ago, it was beauty. It's called Plan Fair Fecker now we're watching. Plan Doom Breffy. Plan Doom Breffy. There's your salad. <laughs> oh, Dar. Oh, Dar, where's the salad, Dar? <laughs> oh, fatty, where's my cash? <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it next week. Anyway, back to the game. Milford on the attack, coming out of yardage. Kids keep blowing whistles and I think it's ref. Play on, nice little offload. Oh, not sure who that is, Ash Yarrow in with a decent tackle on the 40 metre line. That's it, a loft load, finding Tom Wilson over on the far side. He's... Yeah, went to yeah, Milford to play with his brother, I'm, I'm told. A, as well, a few years well, ago, yeah, he was. Very good player. Nice kid as well. Testing kick for Townend. Oh. Gets his hands to it, oh, takes it out good. dead. In a... Did he go dead? No, he did, yeah. yeah. Drop out. You might turn it back. Was a swirling swirl. Got to do music at half time. Oh, no, no, yeah. You be, you, you be back there half full time. Quick, I'll go now. Give us, give us your. Has anyone got beer tokens? No, left. One left. Matt, have Someone you got any beer tokens? Someone different? No. Drop out from Stan High over onto this far side. Dwayne McCree takes the ball. Chippy just on runner. Just falls off from camera. Again. Getting across the pitch. Leaves Paul leaves the camera pointing into down into the valley probably. It just so happened it went to a kick away, didn't it? That's not the point. Robbo, if you're watching, I've just seen your text, mate. But I can't answer you because the live stream is going through my phone. Unless you must have us on mute after. Um, you'll ask him away, you back up. I've been quite polite today. McCree. He's very good. He's get, very trying good. to get the ball away get him, as he uh, drops it. Is it a little knock on that, was it? Forward pass, pass, my, forward pass forward was it? Pass my kill. Half time, time, ladies and gents. Half time. Hit <laughs> it, it at the half a miller. <laughs> half time score, ladies and gentlemen. Stanley 32, Milford nil. So, ladies and gents, half time. This is Mick updates the scores. No, we're all right, thanks, Tom Bell. Tom Bell just kindly asking if we could do that. Just uh, got some. We, we, well, we're gonna have to turn this off, aren't we, Mick? No, no. We can't film children. I've got a license to do that. We'll we? Just don't point at them. All right. We might have filming them. We don't want to film you. What you're doing, watching them. So we've got uh, half time. Come up, Mick. What's going? Thirty-two nil. Thirty-two nil. Christ on a Christ on a bike. Yeah. Different second half. I think I'm expecting though. Yeah. That, Mike. I think uh, Milford are gonna get the air dryer at half time. Jamie Ben's going to give him a right bollocking, I think. I'm not sure what Jordan and Ashton are going to say to Stan Lads. More of the same, perhaps. Is it, is, it, is it too far gone now, Mick? Is it just a pride thing for Milford? No, no if, if we're obviously we're capable of scoring 32 points in one half of rugby and Milford, how they've been performing throughout the season and, and where they are in the league, they're obviously more than capable of scoring that same amount of points. So, could it be a 32 all draw? Oh, golden point. <laughs> just don't exist so some half time entertainment here that we don't have a license to film so we'll uh, we'll bid you farewell we'll see you in 10 minutes or so make you reckon yeah 10 minutes or so we'll be back enjoy oh. the, the picture will still be on but it, uh, it won't be of the half time entertainment as they are juniors just, just the capacity crowd all the best
teams are coming back out for the second half. Stanley 32 0 up. Well, not me personally, but as Paul Smith enters his third or fourth pint, the language and tone is going to change dramatically. So, apology, apologies in advance. All Paul's views are his own, do not reflect Stanley Rugby. So, back underway. Sa safely fielded. Willie, go, Willie. returning the ball back with, uh, with intent there, Mick. Yeah, didn't see it, but yeah. Uh, momentum going from what the uh, from what we had. Clock started a little bit. Yeah, we're a bit behind with stuff here. Jack Sykes finds Jack Vincent out on this near side. Not sure where the team sheet is. He's brought down by Ross Hamill. No, watch this, we've got it on the screen in front of you, watch that. Jack Sykes, it's upended, put back on his back by Dave Watmore and Tom Wilson. Nice kick over the top from Eddie Crossland, finding space. Bounces up, will it bobble up into the dead ball? No, it goes dead, we'll take that. Seven set tackle, seven tackle set though. Shout out from Carsten saying the stream's not very good. It's gone a bit funky. I think we're back in business. Lost ball there. I'm not sure what the referee's going to do with that. Stolen ball. Ball away. Milford. A lot of the Milford contingent sat in the club. You were eyeball walking past them. I can't, their place, won't you? I can't believe place. you've gone in there for 20 minutes and come out with I haven't even been in. Were you though? We've been set bars on the shed. You've been oh, stood on my wires, Dan. Right <laughs> nice little offload. Finds what more is. Charge up in the middle of the field, trying to barge his way through. He gets brought down, or well not brought down, but halted by Tyler Hart. Jack Vincent in the ball over there. Knock on. Mick uh, excuses himself for a comfort break. Paul Smith's back, empty handed. It's not interested in Paul. Well, Josh Jones, Stanley struggling to make headway this set, only 30, 35 metres or so uh, away from their own half. Big Welly takes the ball up, he's well taken down by uh, two Stanley, uh, two Milford defenders. Wins the floor, Adam Ben kicking out of dummy half. It's a lovely kick, lovely kick, finds the touch, excellent kick by Adam Ben there, uh, by Adam Ben there. Uh, not yeah, excellent analysis there from Danny, he can come again because I'm on my best behaviour today as always. Ball out to a Milford player who runs through the gap. It's number three, Teddy Fish. And a penalty there given by Luke Townend, holding on a little bit. Tech one foot team there, don't you? Said Tom Bell. Number 15, who is Billy? Billy! It's because my pawn as well, let's see even. Yeah. Oh, it's. 
Talk now. Yeah, welcome back. Oh, it's a good job. It's a good job we haven't said anything uh, bad because pedal switched it on to on. Christ on a bicycle. Been off for 10 minutes. Stanley, it's your first time. Been off Stanley Pentley, so sorry if you're still with us. If you're not, I'm not, not surprised to be honest. It's descended into a bit of a farce. I think it's all. It's the cracker, it's 80, 80 points to six now. I think it's uh, all the interference from the, just the sheer volume of fans that have uh, descended on the Arthur Miller today. Yeah. Stanley weathered an early storm from Milford there for the first 10 minutes of that second half. Milford crashing over in the corner. I don't know if you caught that. Scores are at 32-4. Um, Stanley just received a penalty and now uh, taking the tap on the uh, Milford 30. As Big Ash Yarrow takes the ball in. He's uh, unceremoniously dumped onto the back of his neck. Can't do that nowadays. Couldn't do it before. Can't, just can't do it. Back in my day, Dan. Oh, yeah. It's a tenet penny, wasn't it? Ten of penny. Many a paraplegic about now. <laughs> <laughs> Player safety paramount nowadays. That's Yarrow again. Hungry for more work. Stanley starting the set from uh, the Milford 20. See uh, some points here would really push it over the line for Stanley, I think, and uh, burst the Milford bubble. But let's see how we get on. Mick. We've still got a signal. We'd love for you to come back on the mic because I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> Mick. Yeah, hopefully it's back on. Signal keeps dropping out. I think we need to uh, sort a signal booster out from the club so we can get actually wired internet as opposed to uh, as opposed to using Wi-Fi. Get a get a bridge. Need to get a quote. Get a quote. Signal's back up and running. Says it's good signal now, so hopefully, uh, if you've all been refreshing your screens, Carsten Broom's given us, been giving us some grief on Twitter. It's Parker! Not sure why, but f first half streams have been going all right. As soon as we get to the second half, it goes all weird. I've even upgraded my uh, data plan on my mobile to, uh, to cater for it. Get on that. It is. If you're going to do something, you might as well do it properly, aren't you? Oh, Great tackle. Great tackle from El Elkington there, right legs. Under nine stuff. We'll try to burrow his way over. Lost ball from. Oh, lost ball from Jermaine Rowan. Ball goes out. Drop out. Stanley pushing pressure. Jordan Lilly on the pitch. Coach isn't car park, Jordan. Get off, mate. Not having that, me. It isn't where. Riley Captain taking the ball in. He only knows one direction, does the kid? Oh. High shot. <laughs> I think that were all right, me personally. Big Tom Wilson. Yeah. You can tell what modern rugby fans are like that. Whoa, what's going on? Not wrong with that kid. Yeah. Up below, up below eyebrows is all right. Let's give that one though. He's got a pocket, he's got a pocket. Oh, oh he's got. He's giving me a yellow card, he's giving me a yellow card. I don't believe it. Get off your blood, yeah. Your bottle has get Campbell. A few celebrities mingling through the crowd. Not sure, not sure. Jones is over on the other side of the pitch with his little tribe. 
and his lovely wife Emma. A couple of uh, a couple of visitors have flown in. Lawrence Bell flown back into the UK today, or oh, the last couple of days. From us, Ben Allen also, both former players. Flown, on, flown to the UK to go to Benidorm for a week and then fly back to us. To be fair, we're international, so I don't know why. Yeah, we're all over the world, mate. We're all over the world. Unless we can't get a signal and then we're nowhere. We're just in, his, in this little <laughs> shit. Yeah. A little oh, shit up, bye. filming. Go on, Bell. Off again now and on again now. Turn my shit up. Oh, good little pick up there from uh, from the winger on the far side, Broxham. If Sign Norfield doesn't like it, you can drive up. If Sign Norfield, yeah. Sign moaning about the stream and lives literally four minutes away. Shut the shop and get up. Close the shop. You make enough money for a week to shut the shop for a couple of hours. Just put a sign on the door saying sponsor, sponsored hospitality. We're back in a week. Penalty to Stanley. Jake Payne giving another penalty away. Apparently so. Apparently so. I don't know the kid personally, but on his behaviour today, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. That comes from Paul Smith, number 123 horse from Town Street. <laughs> <laughs> Can often be found in the Bay Horse. Oh, yeah, Northern usually, because he doesn't like going anywhere that's not local. <laughs> Apparently my daughter's been a little turd as well somewhere, wherever she is. When I say I'm going to give her a clip. Uh, I'm on my way now, thanks for your advice. So you are listening, Simon. So, so the stream obviously isn't that bad, is it? I'll just tell everyone your carpets are shit me. Nice carpets. <laughs> it's in a carpet, right? They'll charge you double, but it's, at least they don't moan about your live streams. <laughs> oh, what's he said? Pay the bills. We just need uh, a Wi-Fi data unit. Look. Our cameraman, Mick, who's uh, now living in Thailand. He used to fork out for that. Now we need to get. <laughs> we, we need another one, and we're all tight. So the club are reluctant to pay for it due to us being uh, a bit sweary. So we need to think of other means. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 little juggle from Dion. Little juggle from Dion gets rid of the first defender. Does well in the end. Not sure what tackle it is. Swally runs a decoy. Nice little step. Nice little step from Ash Yarrow. He's trying to get away over. Needs to go lower the big man if he's, uh, he's going to go there. Fifth and last. Sun's in the eyes of the Milford. Little kick through, little knock on from Milford. Is that scrum down and ball Stanley? Is it? It is. Unlucky there from Milford. To be brutally honest, I just think it's been one of those days for Milford. Nothing to worry about. It's just been. Uh, it's just been one of them, hasn't it? Unluckily for them. And luckily for us, I think it's just been one of them days for Milford Bell. Yeah, it has. I think, uh, like, like we said at half time, I think our, our start at the beginning really shocked him. I thought his intensity was excellent. Thought every time we tried something, it came off. Selby and Copland, you know, were outstanding with the finishes. And we just we finished the half really, really well. I just think this second half, it's just been a bit bit, bit stop and start, really. I thought Milford, you know, tried to come in their own, but this could change here with Selby now. Selby dancing through the line, trying to find a way through. Gets brought down eventually, about 15 metres out from the Milford line. Adam Bain has a little dig for Matt half, gets rid of the first defender. Can he get over? He does! Great little solo effort from Adam Bain from the base of the rook. He has had a great game today, has Adam Bain. Show and go, left, right and centre. Cracking try from Stanley, solo effort. I think it's been a bit of an arm wrestle, but like you say, 
Well, like we've already said, rather, it just uh, the rubber of green has gone Stanley's way today. Take nothing away from Milford's effort. It's always been there and it always will be there. I think uh, the few lucky tries that Stanley got early on really... Uh, set the tone. Well, yeah, it did set the tone. Some say a good finish. Green yeah, they were good the finishes. And, and, and as former coach Jamie Jones used to say, you make your own luck. Good the, question, if, pe if people out there in, in the positions to... to Field these loose balls and, and what have you. You've, each other, you? That's you have got to back each other. So. Good question though, Mick. Obviously, coaches have made some difficult choices today. Changing personnel. Adam Benin Tucker. Yeah. Paid off. Correct. He's been really good today. It pains me to say the little midget dwarf any fuck. <laughs> but <laughs> he's been really good. Been really good. Conversion coffee. Yes. Goplin lodges one over. I know we've got an OK as well. So it's bad, OK, good, very good. I've never. Years old, not better. Against the fish. Against the. Eventually. I think we're. Uh, we might be asking a little bit too much there, Dan. 38 4. What do you reckon? 65 minutes ish. Sorry, boss. <laughs> we'll get a number eight. My boss is kicking off. How long you got the number before you back? Not long if he keeps leaning in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> or a bit longer. <laughs> Dave Warren taking a good drive in there, gets brought down in the middle of the field. How did they end up Someone else brain on dial up that's chip with some beers. Matt is there now. Hey, up, Mike. Yeah, good, Matt. As in, like, Hello. Fifth and last, ball goes out wide, finds Martin Loveridge, puts a high kick in, finds the centre, Steve Bacon on this left hand side. Nice little, oh, nice little kick. Finds the hands of Jack Vincent, who knocks on back to one. Milford in a good position here with a full set to go at. Bacon taking the ball in. Craig Selby. Kent, Craig Kent's down in uh, right. North Wales. North yeah, that's what to him, yeah. Apologies if you've heard me slurping on a Guinness in the microphone. I apologise for that, but it was bloody nice. As Milford attack, number three. It's not percent. Josh Nathaniel. Not percent. Yeah, I can alcohol free. Yeah, nice. Don't agree with it, me. Oh, nice. It's the nearest to an actual pint you can get. I think two bottles. To be fair, Anakin alcohol freeze that is pretty decent. Loads now, isn't the Peroni one? Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, well fielded from just Luke, Luke Townend. Milford putting pressure on. Look, <laughs> nice little kick through. Looking for Tom Wilson. Eddie, Eddie's got a naughty drop out if he catches it, it's going down here because the wind's going to be converted, yeah. Great little kick from Eddie Crossland. Just over the 50, 52 metres on the full. We've got a streaker on the field. More Eddie Glenn. Was it Glenn? Was it Glenn? Nothing like a good celebration without a streaker. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any police or stewards here to get rid of him. Is it Jake Barnett? I think it is Jake Barnett. <laughs> A Bramley Buffalo. Obviously got no to do this weekend. <laughs> it's blowing now, that's it. That's that 40 metres sideways. Yeah. We get done that, won't we? Nah, we won't. He didn't zoom. Like he didn't, didn't zoom in. He didn't zoom like in on his nudger, did you? It's not like it's been filmed live and then his name's been broadcast. It's not like we've ever shanked on picture or like that. Unfortunately, uh, the camera were only two and a half grand. Zoom ain't that good. So good, good effort there, young uh, young Jake Barney. Quality lad. Now playing his trade at West Leeds. Is it Union? Union. Pla Union. Playing his trade at West Leeds Rugby Union. Fair play to it, kid. Oh, Dion Henry slips into the tackle. 
Leg, leg looks a bit funky there, how it went down, but I think he's all right, isn't he? He gets up a bit ginger. Adam Bent, little show and go again. It's paid off twice today now, that. Time and years, it's taken 16 seasons. 16 years and twice it's paid off. Copland into the middle of the park, taking some weight off the forwards. He's wrapped up by the number 16, Joe Ramsden. The new Alan boy. Kick, 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 kick from, kick from Crossland, takes a deflection, finds Ashiaro. He looks, shows and goes and puts a dummy in. Play on, play on. It is play on. Luke, Luke Townend picks up from the base of the base of the rook. Finds Dion Henry out wide, passes it to. Yes, the, yes, great, great. Aidan Scully over in the far Tyler corner. Hart. Tyler Hart, what it? My apologies, Tyler. Tyler Hart goes in at the corner. Taking the scores to a magnificent 42-4 to the black and white army. Statement to the league, Michael, a statement. I think it is a statement. Skirler last week, only one spot behind us in the league. Tell you, tell you, 50's coming, you. 56, 46 against Norman. So, the... Uh, Nearly 130 points. Back end at... Back end at... swing. Back end at season. I think is it? Are things are things coming well? What did we score last week? 56. Charging for the playoffs, do you know? What is it? What what playoff numbers? Three to six. Three to six. Four, two, three, four, five, six. Just three teams. Two, three. Three, four, five, six. Are you? I wonder, that's, that's, my third, that's my third pint that day. Get Mike off or what? No, I think we need to uh, respect the occasion. We'll, uh, we'll be good. Did he kick it? <laughs> Cut Liam Copland, sponsored by Cross Street Fisheries. Incidentally, uh, a main kit sponsor at Stanley at Cross Street Fisheries. Today we're playing in the uh, traditional black and white V. What? Tommy, what? I told you. I'm a bit more conservative, mate, but. High kick off, low percentage play. Has it gone back, referee? High kick off. Welton taking the ball in, gets a wild offload away, finds Josh. Who's that? Josh. Is that Jonesy? That looked a bit tall for Jonesy. Jonesy. Sell it six days. Sell it carefully. He travels really well, doesn't he, Tom Kenner? Yeah. Yeah, he's been to Turkey about four times. <laughs> Crossland, little shimmy. Nice ball, finds Ben Selby out, out on this near side. Have they got the legs? He's got legs and he's got the support. Can he go over? Yes, he does. Double movement. You greedy get. Greedy get. Going for Atrick, one he bless him. Going for Atrick. Thought he was a team player, mate. <laughs> Bloody hell, it must have been only an in shot there. Penalty to Milford with Ben Selby. Trying to retch out. <laughs> that would have been me, that as well. I bring 50 up against Milford with me hat trick. Yeah. Nice day, nice day. See ya. 40 points up and they're still defending like that in the opponent's half. That, that's just showing you uh, Stanley's intent today. Yeah, they're going for 50, yeah. Bettles, oh, what? Bettles convinced they're going for the 50. I'm just happy that the uh, we'll get the two points, to be honest, if it are one by one point or one by 50 points. You don't fancy it? About eight minutes or something. Milford coming out of their own half. Dion Henry with a tackle. And again. 
Question, question, the question. Uh, they're moving off the mark and then calling the mark is not square. It's a tough one to call for the referee. Let's let it play on. Oh, well, uh, Good D from Yashado and Steve Walton. Don't know what tag team that. That natural disaster. Don't like to be the meat. do like to be the meat in that sandwich. Earthquake, and, earthquake, and earthquake, and earthquake and typhoon. Tsunami, tsunami and tornado. Texas tornado. Oh, you what? Two, two different natural disasters. Fifth and last, 30 meters out from Milford. High kick. Oh, is it going dead? I think it is. Diffuse, get on side. Diffuse, Who broke him away? Lil Wayne, Wayne and Lil Wayne. Wayne and Lil Wayne. Brook and Lil Wayne. Brook and Lil Wayne. Yeah, just because original Wayne's older. He's got some timber, he's dropped, hasn't he? Let's it down and out, 23 stone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a shit, that's all. Riley Captain entering the field in replace of Ash Yarrow. Good stint in the second half. For the big man. Captain's back on, minus the head tape. He's a union, ex union player, isn't he? He is, yeah. He played for. He played for Moore Town Rugby Union and who were they not in New Zealand? Uh, Hamilton, Hamilton City Tigers. Hamilton City Tigers. Factoid Dean. Factoid. Is that too? Nice little kick in there for Stanley. Oh, great, great footwork. Oh. Equally as good tackling from Eddie Crossland. Tickle his balls! Sounding, they don't look at them. Normally they'd be flaming from all over the fucking place. Our penalty? Our penalty as well. Bell keeps calling it. 50. 50. What's happened? 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 What's I don't know, I'm not sure, to be fair. Yeah. yeah. It's all self here, bro. Rookie selfie. makes a good point. I think it's only fair that Simo wears a Stanley shirt. Yeah. Alex Simmons needs to wear a Stanley shirt on Rugby AM running this yep. week. We do some nice Stanley bed sheets. We do some. <laughs> oh, we've got, got a Stanley marquee you can borrow. <laughs> we'll just cut an head hole in it for you, pal. <laughs> I, I, I just don't cut head all in it. Fucking the captain going low. Can he burrow his way over? Come on, Sykes his side. Fifth and last tackle. What's Stanley going to do? Nice little repeat set. Short ball. We're going to turn it up. Let Tom Kent get a crack. Uh, got work out uh, there, really no. Not sure. I'm uh, not sure. I'm buying that. But if you're going to turn the ball over it's anyway, yeah, two inches away from mine. You might as well turn it away, turn it over on there, don't you? Two inches is a long way. Ah, that's, that's, what, that's what I keep telling our lass. <laughs> Keep saying deeper, deeper. I think it's unfair. You don't hear me saying tighter, tighter, do you? <laughs> Not when it's like a broken catch. I keep yawning, donkey. I keep yawning, donkey. Empty headlock. Empty headlock's my first. Like opening window and punching, uh, punching the night. Like a fight bomb. Good deep. Aiden Scully in there. Good running as well from uh, the Joe Ramsden. Done all right him when he's had the ball. Tom Wilson, always an handful coming out of the run. Hey, want Aidan Scully over that? Aidan Scully's uh, just on the sideline down there with a pint in his hand. <laughs> full kit, full kit on, sort of a gauge. Made in Bradford. Bradford. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, nice you? little step there from Zach Snellgrove, dancing through the Stanley line. Finds uh, Josh Nathaniel as well. Are they gonna? He's no, having a go. Big he's big having big a go. A little too much on it. Give you four ball, dickhead. Trying to tick, trying to tick it through. Fucking hell. Trying to nudge it over the top, Nathan Suicide McAvoy, that, Nathan that, McAvoy that, style. Right, with Tyler. With Tyler. Seventeenth man. 
Robbo, stop te texting me. Has it? Oh, that I didn't not know. Tyler Hart being picked for England under 19s. England under 19s. Contra congratulations, Tyler lad. Didn't know that. You only went up as an add on extra just to train. Did I? Pulled in, didn't he? Oh, that's a beauty, that. Went up as a train on squad member. Gets yanked into the team. Someone get. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking cowards. Dog shot that. Shitty ass wankers. I don't know who that number 18 is. Tom Wilson ragging people about. Not sure what's gone on. See what it's typical, it's typical. All taking a few shots at Copland on ground. Referee had said it were over. Copland tries to run the ball out. Don't, don't get the wrong way. Absolute shit houses. Shit houses. They're windmilling me. Hey up, Michael Holmes. Hey, nice one, you fucking knobs. What's that? Are they beer up? Yeah. yeah. Throwing beer yeah, on well Josh Powell, brother. Yeah. You can see it. Clear as day on video like this. What's this? What's it called? Keep doing Powell. that, I'll throw no, no teeth, no teeth, Jack. Oh, that's play. That's that little cunt, Jack Powell. Yeah. Get him. Yeah. 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 Nice one, dickhead. Final whistle there, referee blows up. Well, what an eventful day that was. Got a little bit sour towards the end. It's embarrassing that. I'll have a bit of that. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing behaviour from the Milford fans. It's that typical little shit, isn't it? 90%. 90% well, well, 99% of them took perfectly fine. Bit of uh, bit of argy bargy at the end of the game. Couple of dingbats on the sideline throwing beer over the players. This is what it is. So, ladies and gents, apologies for the uh, interruption in services earlier on. Managed to get the uh, last bits of the game on. Stanley 44, Milford 4. You won't see a better scoreline if you're a black and white fan. Happy days. We'll uh, we'll take that all day long. Thanks very much to everyone who's been involved. Tom Bell, top man, sorting everything out for today. Any last words, Matt? Uh, not really, mate, apart from that spineless shithouse over there. Oh, coward. Well, there you go, ladies and gents. Uh, rattled Matty's cage there. So... Ladies and gents, we're going to leave you. We're going to love you and leave you. Hopefully, uh, services will resume with uh, better quality. Hopefully, the pictures were all right for you. It was just a bit of signal issues. But thank you for joining in. Thanks very much. Goodbye.